Hey everyone, this is Fallen, and today I'll be doing a quick update review on the Pulse Rifle Red Death. As most people who play Destiny will know, the 1.1.1 patch arrived in the last 24 hours and brought a few changes to the weapon balancing. The biggest weapon change is to Pulse Rifles with a 9.7% damage increase. Now, Red Death used to be a fairly decent gun uh, for PvP, but um, as with all Pulse Rifles, it was really not worth using in PvE. I've almost never run out of primary ammo in Destiny with any other gun, uh, but while using Red Death, I ran out a few times uh, in a couple of days in a row. Uh, its only real utility was to regen health in the Crota boss fight on hard, uh, due to its final perk, Red Death. This review will only cover Red Death in PvP, however a PvE part is coming, as well as a quick review for Bad Juju, keeping in mind the mine is not leveled up yet. Okay, so in the Crucible, Red Death used to do 32 to the head and 21 to the body, which means landing all of a burst on a head, you'd get 96 damage for one burst, 192 damage for two bursts, and 288 damage for three bursts. So it would take you somewhere into the third burst, as long as you were fairly accurate, but it would usually take three to four bursts, because the odd shot there misses. Um, and as far as to the body, uh, you'd be doing 63 for one burst, 126 for two bursts, 189 for three bursts, and 254 for four bursts. So at most, as long as you're hitting your target, you should take no more than four bursts. However, the 9.7% damage increase brought Red Death's damage from 32 to the head to 36, and 21 to the body to 24. A substantial increase. It now means that a burst to the head will do 108 damage, and two bursts to the head will do 216 damage, Three bursts at total overkill will do 324 damage. To the body, one burst will do 72 damage, two bursts will do 144 damage, and three bursts will do 216. Now, as you can see, with the possible exception of a Titan with max armor, Red Death can be a two burst kill if all three shots land on the head, as base uh, armor in PvP is 200 with. Um, the lowest being probably Warlocks with lowest armor stat in their subclass at 180 and Titans being the highest at 220. Now, I had a lot of fun using Red Death and um, while it wouldn't quite pull me away from using other weapons, uh, I can certainly see how some people are going to be really lethal with it and I really do not want to come up against it in uh, Skirmish or Clash or anything really. Um, and the thing that makes it really dangerous is its health regeneration and increased reload speed perk called, funnily enough, Red Death. Uh, and there was definitely a few times that I noticed myself being saved by this effect or being able to tank on a bit more damage to get an extra kill. Um, and it was definitely, uh, certainly different. Anyway guys, that was my quick thoughts on Red Death. I uh, hope you're able to try it at least at some point, uh, or that Zul sells it. Uh, and have a go with Pulse Rifles in general, you know, other ones like Bad Juju, um, or if you, you know, look at the Crucible or Vanguard Pulse Rifles, maybe they're ha worth having a look at now. Um, hopefully, with uh, further updates and further balancing, they'll become really, really deadly. I'm hoping for a slight decrease between each burst. Oh no, between each shot in the burst. Um, and maybe with slightly more recoil on the third shot. But, you know, maybe it's not needed. Let's hope that uh, they become a lot more like their legendary, or should I say exotic, ancestor, the Battle Rifle from the Halo series, and if you're not familiar with that, well, go and look up uh, some Halo gameplay. Now that Red Death is potentially a two-burst kill, it's possible that its fire rate might be slow, or its impact lowered slightly. However, I guess we'll have to wait on Bungie to know for sure, as they might judge that this kill time is appropriate for a Pulse Rifle. I'll finish off the video with some PvP gameplay. Please remember you're not watching for my skill in Crucible, as I have not played in a few weeks. This is Fallen signing off, and as always, Guardians, may the lag be with you. Lost the lead. You're in the lead. Secure. Total control. Good work.
Hard fought victory. 